Hi, we're here with the beautiful cover girl, Alexa. Your cover looks amazing. Thank you. I'm so amazed by this turnout and just the response has been incredible. I see we're all over Barnes and Noble and I'm just so excited. So it's really been an honor and you know, I just hope I can do them justice with the beauty issue. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. How do you feel about how the cover turned out and what were you thinking during the photo shoot? I am so excited. They gave me a lot of creative control oh, for the shoot. Like, you know, I was really able, I was able to shoot in my apartment. They said, because I'm such a homebody, they said, let's shoot at your apartment. It's downtown in the city. It's very kind of French, bohemian, eclectic. So I really feel like I was able to be myself. Um, you know, we did like a very Sophia Loren, uh, Bohemia, New York girl about town vibe. And I think it worked out really well. So I, I, I just hope everybody loved the issue because it was really something I was very involved with. And it feels like me. So. I mean, we all loved it, so we're so excited to have you on the cover. Thank you so much. So you're a very talented singer, songwriter. Are you working on anything new at the moment? I am. I'm actually um, getting a showcase together to go back to the Carlisle. For those of you that don't know, I'm, I'm always at the Cafe Carlisle uptown doing sort of a cabaret meets singer-songwriter act. Um, so that's really fun and then um, I'm doing that, I'm working on music and I am going to be releasing a single soon. So with all this excitement, how could I not? So. Yes, we'll have to keep an eye out. So at Bella Magazine, our motto is beauty defined by you. How would you define beauty? You know, um, I've learned this the hard way, being a late bloomer, and it took me a little extra time to get comfortable in my own skin. I mean, obviously, my parents are kind of a big deal, so there was a lot of pressure there um, for me to kind of be seen in my own light and pave my own way. And I think it's important for girls to remember their own worth you know, hold yourself high, good posture, and really learn to love and accept yourself for who you are. As cliche as that sounds, it's, it's difficult to do. And um, I think that that's really, beauty is really, it shines from the inside out when you know who you are and you, and you embrace who you are. Yes, I love that. And just one more question, if you don't mind. What is the best beauty advice that your mom, Christy Brinkley, has ever given you? Uh, the best beauty advice? Uh, good posture, smile, be kind to everyone around you, and appreciate all the little details in life. You know, she's always looking up at the clouds and seeing hearts, and you know, she sees the beauty in everything, and because she sees beauty in what's around her, that radiates outward from her, and that's what makes her, I think, so special and beautiful. So. Oh, I really love that. Thank you so much. We're so excited. Pleasure. Thank you again. And thank you for being so good to me.